So, Mr. Martel, what brings you here to India? I'm looking for inspiration for my next story. Okay. And have you found this inspiration? Um, no, not yet. Still looking. Well, it was nice meeting you. You know, I have a story for you. One that will make you believe in God. Come in. Excuse me, sir. Are you Mr. Papatel? Right, I am. My name is Jan Martel. I'm an author. I'd like to talk to you about your idea. That was a very long time ago. It happened such a long time ago. Gave me my 15 minutes of fame, sure, but. Tell you what, tell you what. Sit down. I'll talk about it right here. Thank you, sir. Me. started in India years and years ago. I was born in India. My father was a zookeeper. You know when they say there are very few people that influence you to the point they last a lifetime? My science teacher, Mr. Kumar, was one of them. He visited the zoo every day, and one day, he shared his philosophies with me. Oh, hello, Pa. Hello, Mr. Kumar. Nice to see you at the zoo today. Actually, I come in here all the time. You may call it my temple. Amazing, isn't it? What they can do? Who's they? Religion, sir. You know, I actually don't believe in religion. What do you mean, sir? Well, you see, when I was a kid, I had polio. And it wasn't God or religion that saved me. It was science. Science is the light. Religion is the darkness. Oh, and Pi, don't forget the test on Monday. Yes, Mr. Kumar. could not believe what I just heard. That was the first time I was introduced to atheism. Ravi, wake up. I heard a noise. Go away. I like to sleep. Little did I know that was the last time I see my brother. The ship sunk. And I was on the boat for what seemed like a week. What started with three animals has become me and a tiger. For once in my whole life, I was truly alone. What's this I hear about a new nickname you have? I didn't realize you liked the color yellow so much. Robbie, what do you mean? It's alright, brother. Anything's better than pissing. Even lemon pie. What's that, brother? You look a little red in the face. 
captain of the rugby team, most popular kid in school. My brother and I were very different, but yet we still had a brotherly love for each other. It wasn't long before I was out of food. In my final, very last resort, I ate the fecal matter of a tiger. Or tried to, anyway. Could not keep that one down for very long. I tried, not with much success, but I tried to fish. First the food would go to Richard Parker so he doesn't eat me, and then myself. Later my family and I went on vacation. While Ravi stayed at the hotel and had fun, I, I was meeting Jesus Christ. Help you, my son. Catholics have a reputation for severity, for judgment that comes down heavenly. My experience with Father Martin was not like this at all. He was very kind. He he treated me like a grown up, and he told me a story. Or. And what a story. I was in total disbelief. How could God sacrifice his own son for the people? But the priest answered in one word, and it was love. The next day, at around the same time, I let myself in. We talked for days, I learning much about the religion and taking it all in so slowly. I was mystified and it was one of the best moments of my life. I found that this is how a god should be with shine and power and might, such as can rescue and save and put down evil. On the last day, I said, Father, I would like to be a Christian, please. And he smiled and said, You already are, Piskin, in your heart. Whomever Christ meets in good faith is a Christian. Here you meant Christ. And that was the last I ever saw of Father Martin. Did not take me long to realize that being on a boat with Richard Parker was not the safest of situations. So I came up with some plans to dispose of him. Plan number one, push him off a light boat. But what good would that do? Even if I managed to get a 450 pound tiger off the boat, they are better swimmers than I. Plan number two, try to kill them with morphine. But I had no idea what the effects would be. Would they be enough to kill them, or would it be enough for him to kill me? Plan number three, attack him with all my available weapons. Well, I didn't have many available weapons. This was not a good option. Plan number four, choke him. I did have the rope. And if I, maybe I could laugh him to death, but that was a long shot as well. And plan number five, poison him, set him on fire, electrocute him, but there was nothing to do any of this with. And the last one is plan number six, wage a war of attrition.